Now using the template that's included with your Central Valley Bridge Kit, I'll glue these bottom laces together and set them aside and let them dry. Now that I have glued all the bottom laces together, I went ahead and I test fit my pieces, making small adjustments. And I want to take the two rivets on the very end corners, or on the inside of the end corners, I should say. And I try to align it with those two rivets over the crossbearer. And there's such variation in the angles, you're going to find that fine adjustments are needed, and you just do that by tweaking them a little bit at a time, making sure not to over tweak them. Ready to glue. Then I tack them to the stringer carefully. One at a time. Now that we've tacked all of the lower laces, as shown, we start tacking all the upper laces to the stringers in the same fashion, pushing pushing them together so they align, making sure that they align properly with their mating pieces. Now, gluing my last one, when you get to the end, you want these, this row of rivets kind of to point off toward the end. They won't line up perfectly, but the closer you can get them to line up to the end in a straight line and kind of shoot for the corner, the better they are. Grabbing the two with my thumb. <sighs> Glue the gussets to the cross bearers. Now that our bottom lacing has uh, cured for a short while, it is ready to start prepping for paint work. And uh, any spots that you see that need to be deglossed should be deglossed at this point. Now that my uh, floor assembly is completed and everything is cured and it's been deglossed for the most part for weathering, you need to take it to your railroad and test fit it on your abutments to adjust your height. You want to take a piece of track and uh, measure your height and uh, make them level with your other uh, track work. If you're using CVT ties, of course, um, lay a piece of rail across there to level it out, make sure it's level. Uh, you may need to shim under here or cut away from your abutment under here. Uh, the weight of the bridge should be resting on this member. <laughs>